YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Diana and we discuss eating a gluten-free, vegan, plant-based lifestyle. On today's video, I have the viral TikTok air fryer nachos. Most people have been using them with Doritos, but if you know anything about Doritos, all of them are not vegan except the hot chili ones, but they're not gluten-free. Doritos, hello, can you make a gluten-free vegan Dorito? That would be great, but these, if you don't know, now you know. Late July's jalapeno lime, they're vegan and gluten-free obviously, and they taste like a spicy Cool Ranch Dorito. So I figured why not? We're gonna assemble, I'll show you what I'm using for plant-based meat, cheese, and sour cream and all the rest of the toppings. Let's get into it. Okay, so I lined my air fryer with this parchment paper. So we're gonna do <clears throat> a nice layer of the chips. This is what they look like. Next up, we're gonna use Daya cheddar. They do make a Mexican blend, but this is the one that I had. So we're gonna do some cheese. I'm gonna do a little black beans. I rinse them first. Probably could have seasoned them too, but that's okay. We got a lot of other stuff going in here. I love this Abbott Butchers. I don't know if you guys have tried it before. Chorizo, they also make a ground beef and a chicken, but the chorizo and the ground beef are the only ones that are gluten-free. And I love the ingredients. Um, I think I've had them on my channel before because they're, pr they're pretty clean. I mean, if you look here, there's not any methyl cellulose like you would find in Beyond Meat. And that's why I really like using it. Plus, it's gonna give it a nice chorizo, smoky, spicy flavor to the nachos. So we're just gonna add some of that on there. Obviously, you could do the ground beef. Theirs is made from mushrooms, so it actually has a very umami flavor to it. Um, not as big of a fan. It tastes really good in pasta, though, I will say that. All right, and we can also throw in a little onion, some white onion, and then we can do like some more jalapenos because if this wasn't spicy enough already, then it definitely will be. <laughs> it's probably gonna be real spicy. All right, next comes more chips. And you guessed it, more cheese. All right, and then we'll do some more black beans. Love that. Love black beans on my nachos, I always have. And then we're going to do my other meat that I have that I swear by. It's really good, it's Gardein's. It's one of their few items. It's the ground beef, <laughs> the B-E apostrophe F. Yeah, so it's their, one of their few items that's actually gluten-free. Um, it does come frozen, so you probably should uh, thaw it out first um, because it's like a big brick right now, but we're just gonna do some of the ground beef on here. Okay. Um, I really love this one. I use it in pastas, I use it for tacos, uh, you name it, I use it. Um, it's very easy to find compared to the Abbott's Butcher. So that's why I like this one a lot. Definitely has a different taste. It's not full of chemicals either, um, which I love as well. All right, we're gonna do some more onions. And you guys get the idea. We're gonna do some jalapenos. Just kind of keep the whole system going here, right?
We're going to add this in. This, this thing is really heavy. <laughs> And it just preheated. We're going to have it on 400. We're actually going to do it for, according to TikTok, it's 10 minutes on 400. So we'll see how that goes. We'll check back in a few. That's the only way you know if it's seasoned. Pretty good. I need a little more salt. All right, so it just beeped halfway through, so I think we should check on it. Ooh, it's starting to get a little crispy up top. I think we're good. I don't know that we need to go 10 minutes. So let's finish plating. All right. So there she is. It's probably not as tall as most of them, but still a decent amount of stuff. Now we're going to top it. We're going to do some, I have a Kite Hill sour cream here. I know you can also do Tofuti or your sour cream of your choice. I like this one because it's a little more runny. I didn't have time or desire to chop up and make pico myself, but you can throw a little pico on there or any salsa of your choice. And of course, we gotta get a nice big scoop of that guacamole. I have some more onions you can sprinkle right on top. Don't worry, I still have more jalapenos because why not? Are you into uh, raw or pickled jalapenos? Comment down below. I hate pickled jalapenos. I like the raw ones better. I guess the pickled ones, they don't taste as spicy, so a lot of people like those. And then this is optional, of course, but why not throw some lettuce on top? Gotta get your greens in. You could also, I guess, get fancy and do like shaved Brussels sprouts. I mean, sky's the limit here. I, I didn't have any black olives or I would have put those on. I love olives on nachos. Corn would have been a really good option. I'm actually out of corn, oddly enough. So, I mean, you could even put more sour cream on top. But yeah, time to taste test and uh, see what we think. Let me see if I can get a, a piece from like the bottom or the middle. <laughs> Cause that's where all the like the meat and stuff are kind of. All right. So a little guac and sour cream, a little pico. There's some meat on there. All right. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but here we go. Wow. <laughs> that's so good I love nachos I used to be a nacho connoisseur I would eat nachos everywhere I went and um, making them at home yeah they come out okay in the oven but hands down I'm gonna make them this way from now on all right so I actually had help my parents helped me finish this and that's all we had left after the three of us tackled it I think we did a pretty good job all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay driven.